My name is Ralph Hollis. In 2004, I invented a new kind of mobile robot that I call a ball bot. Conventional mobile robots have several wheels and have trouble moving without first turning in place. If these robots are tall enough to effectively interact with people, their high centers of gravity make them at risk from falling over, especially if they start or stop too suddenly or operate on slopes. Accordingly, they tend to have wide, heavy bases, making rapid navigation very difficult in cluttered human environments. In 2004, I invented a new kind of mobile robot that is person-sized and has only a single spherical wheel, making it capable of omnidirectional motion. We call this new, tall and slender class of mobile robots, ball bots. The ball bot body must dynamically balance on the spherical wheel and move about by managing its center of mass with respect to its point of support on the floor. Our ball bot's wheel is driven by an orthogonal set of rollers. That's essentially the inverse of the drive arrangement in a ball-type computer mouse. BallBot and its progeny represent the vanguard of a new type of wheeled mobile robot capable of agile, omnidirectional motion. BallBots might well function as aids to elderly or disabled persons, provide guidance and assistance in public spaces, help with education and entertainment, perform domestic cleaning and housekeeping chores, or fetch and carry everyday objects. The dynamic capabilities of the BallBot come with some associated control challenges. The BallBot moves around by applying a torque between the body and the ball using an inverse mouse ball drive mechanism. So when someone pushes the BallBot, it naturally leans away from the direction of the push. And at that point, the balancing controller takes over and accelerates the ball in the direction of lean to keep it from falling over. So when someone pushes the ball, it naturally moves away from the push. The result is that the 75 kilogram machine can be easily pushed around with a pinky finger. In order to do anything useful at all, the ball bot first has to balance. Uh, an object balances when its center of mass is directly below its point of contact with the floor. Since we can't control the lean angle of the ball bot, the only way we can make it balance is by driving the ball underneath the center of mass. This means that the ball bot controller continuously accelerates the ball in the direction of the lean angle. The combination of underactuation and this relationship that the balancing controller causes between lean angle and acceleration causes some really non-intuitive behaviors when you want to move the ball bot around. Particularly if you think about the case where the ball bot starts off standing still and it wants to move in a, in a given direction. In order to move in that direction, it has to first lean in that direction. But since we cannot directly control the lean, we have to get it to lean in that direction by having the ball move in the opposite direction. This causes the body to fall in the desired direction, and then once the lean angle is pointing in the desired direction, the ball reverses direction, it goes in the desired direction too, and the whole robot moves that way. The dynamics of the ball and the body are coupled by a set of equations called dynamic constraints. And these constraints define the mapping between the ball motion and the body lean motion. So if you want to achieve a particular motion on the floor, then this ball motion can be transformed into an equivalent body lean motion, which when tracked by the balancing controller results in the desired motion on the floor. And all this happens by virtue of the dynamics of the system. With arms on the ball bar, manipulation is the next obvious step. Mobile manipulation with balancing robots like ball bar can be tricky because every time the arm moves, the center of mass shifts and hence the ball moves, which is undesirable. If the base keeps moving, the arm will not be able to reach the object it wants to reach correctly. But by exploiting the natural dynamics of the system, we can compensate for the effect of the arm motion on the ball by leaning the body appropriately. Now, when the arm moves, the body leans in such a way that their effects cancel each other and the ball remains stationary. Despite the fact that it's a, a large, heavy robot, as big as a person, it only takes uh, the push of a finger to move it away. And this inherent compliance, we think, makes it really appropriate for interacting physically with people. And we eventually want to see it even in places like hospitals uh, and elder care facilities, leading people physically by the hand. 
and we think this is really interesting in a couple of applications. One is elderly people who need some help uh, getting around who might rely on holding someone's elbow for stability while they're walking or uh, possibly visually impaired people, maybe blind people that um, could benefit from, from someone holding their hand and leading them through an environment which they're not familiar with. We uh, can take our, our work that we've already done in navigation, getting the robot through a building uh, that it has created a map for, and apply that to helping someone physically navigate through that building. So one thing we might be able to do with, with the BallBot is take it by the hand, lead it through a building as it creates a map for itself, and uh, tell it about what's in that building. For example, this is the kitchen, this is the living room, this is the oven, this is the fridge, and BallBot will remember where those things are. Now when somebody comes into that building who's not familiar with it or who might need some help getting around, they can ask BallBot, uh, can you please take me to the fridge? And BallBot can offer its arm and actually help that person go there. Something else that the BallBot can do, just because it's a balancing mobile robot and because it's a powerful robot as well, is help you carry something from place to place. So when we say cooperative carrying, we mean that maybe a load that you want to get from A to B is too heavy for you to lift by yourself. So the BallBot can actually help you to pick it up and take it where you'd like it to go. Some of our recent work focuses on assisting people in a sit to stand maneuver. Healthcare professionals are about three times as likely as any other profession to suffer a back injury. And the leading cause of injury among healthcare professionals is transfers. So one place where we think BallBot can offer some Real assistance is in helping people get out of chairs and take that load off of healthcare professionals. The more immediate goal of our research is simply to gain a deeper understanding of how such dynamic agility can be achieved in mobile machines interacting with people and operating in normal home and workplace environments.